Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully installed the Karma as our dependency, and also we have installed the Jasmine Core and also Karma Jasmine. The plugins also we have installed. Now, when we try to run this one npm test, so the command Karma start, which is present in the package.json. If I try to run, so it is giving you one. It is starting the Karma is starting a local server, and here it is telling that. You need to include some adapter. This is nothing but what it is trying to say is I don't know what to do. So please create a configuration for this karma to to execute what like that it is asking. So now if I try to execute this one, it is telling that karma error. I don't know what to execute. Okay. So let's in this video let's try to do let's try to create the karma configuration file. So this is common. So now what we need to do is so we need to create a karma configuration file. For anything, so wherever you are writing the test file and all those things, we need to create a configuration file and we need to give the configuration. So how to create a configuration file? If you go to here, Karma Runner, and the first phase installation is completed. Now we need to do the configuration. If you try to click on this configuration, in order to serve you well, Karma needs to know about your project in order to test it, and this is done via configuration file. So what we have, uh, what I have told you up to now, this is nothing but so Karma has to know. What is that I need to do? What is the thing I need to execute? So that that can be known using configuration file. This page this page explains you how to create a configuration file. If you want to know more about this one, so you can you can see the you you can you can read this one. Now what I want to do is so normally what we will be doing is so you can use this karma init my conf dot js file. So if you are having karma installed globally, you can use this karma initialize in just like the npm init. It will create the karma uh, configuration file for you. So let's try. In order to create like this, let's try to do it our own thing. So now, in order to do configuration, okay. So let's go to this configuration configuration file. What are the items that involves in the configuration file? So normally, the configuration file how it will be having is the file should be named like this karma dot conf dot js. So if you are having copy file, ts file, or anything, so you need to place it like this. Now let's try to. So it will try the karma will try to look for this. This type of file, whether it is present in any config file or not, like this, it will try to do it. So let's try to create a karma dot conf dot js file. I am creating the first file, karma dot conf dot js file. So this is the karma dot conf dot js file. Now, the first line what it will have is module dot export. So we need to export the module dot exports, and here this one will contain a con function, and this function will have a parameter of config, and here we need to do config dot set and we need to pass the object here so that's it so this is the basic thing now if you try to see here also it will try to explain you the same thing module dot exports is equal to function of config and the config dot set like this it will try to give it <coughs> so this is the first phase now you understood about this one now in our project so now the first one what we need to do is we need to tell you we need to tell to the karma that so you need to take the framework Okay, the first one is the Jasmine. Fine, right? So the frameworks you need to take into consideration is the Jasmine. This is the first key. So these are all key value pairs itself. So here you will be able to understand frameworks is the Jasmine. So first one is completed, and now what what I need to tell you is second one is the files file pattern. These are the files. So if you want to exclude or anything, you can give use like this. So first one is the files. So now what are the files that should be included? So here you need to give the files. It will take the array, and here you need to go to the speckrunner.html file in order to see what is the systematic flow. So what is the, what are the flow we need to see? So first one is the thing what you need to understand is this is the custom matcher.js file. First we need to include the custom matcher.js file. So this is this could be the order. So now here, what we need to do? Custom matcher dot js file okay so this this is the order so which in which order you will provide the files the, the files will be executed like this so if you want some files to be executed first means before the configuration files or anything so you need to include it manually like this why i am including this custom matcher dot js file is so this one is our custom matcher we have created our custom matcher so before execution of these all the test files uh, before execution of these all spec files and all the things custom matcher has to execute first why because so it has the matchers thing so we have we have created our own matcher side so these matchers will be dependent on this one because of that reason so not to get any uh, any conflict or anything so first i am giving that so in order to execute custom matcher.js file first 
then afterwards what is the criteria we need to execute the source files okay star.js is the source files then afterwards we need to execute spec files right so this is the order so now i will be giving i will be giving like this order or otherwise if you don't have any files to be executed before these all the things means so there is no need to mention the custom manager so for me custom manager need to be executed so that is the reason not to take the risk i am keeping it to the first so that it will be executed safely that's it we have give the files so what are the files to be executed we have given it so the order the order matching is the main thing so whatever the order you have, in which in which order you will be giving so in, the, in that way order only it will be executed now the now the second one is so if you go here now another one is so these are all the options that are available in the karma so if you want to add you can uh, feel free to learn about these all the things but i will be not adding these all things so we will go one by one now what i will be trying to do is another one is the plugins so which plugins i need to execute here we need to use karma if and jasmine so we need we have included this plugin right so any plugins so whatever the plugins you install in the karma so that will start with karma hyphen like that so karma hyphen so any plugins you install so you will be included here and the another one is the reporters so reporters means so in which way we need to report so normally this will be having two things something like dots and the progress so two options will be there dots and the progress i want to mention it as a dots okay and the last and the another one is a colors so these are all uh, options thing only default we will be having colors true means you not have to get in a color in the command line and another last one is the single run so these are the common thing single run is true means so if you mention it as false means it will be in the watch mode it will be going on executing single run true means so karma when you try to run the command karma start it will execute the karma and it will stop it that's it so single run only again if you want to run it again means you will use you will try to run the command again so this is the frame this is the configuration file this is the basic configuration file what we will be trying to do so going on we will try to add more configuration but for us this is the basic thing so first one is the frameworks what are the framework we are using jasmine and the files which files we need to execute and another one is the plugins karma ifn jasmine so what are the plugins we will be using and the last one is the reporters colors and the single run so this is the set now here let's try to run the command so here i will be running npm test again so let's try to see so whether it will try to execute it or not so now it should not get you need to include adapter like this we should not get any errors so let's see so why it is taking so much of time whether it is uh, whether we got any wrong or not wrong or what so i think hope everything is correct it's trying to read the configuration file i think so let it read yeah all match file so uh, excluded so now we got it executed and here we got some problem let's try to close this one and again we'll try to open here okay so not this one so let's try to open open with live server Oh, sorry, not this one. So what we need to do is uh, open reveal in file explorer. I will try to open the command prompt again. So I am opening the command prompt. Let's open the command prompt freshly, and here I will try to run again npm test. Let's try to see. So whether we will get any error or not. Karma start. It is running karma start, and now it is asking that okay, all files are matched. It has been in this server. So now let's try to copy this one. and here what happened here executed disconnected okay okay so it is disconnected so let's try to so here it got executed see executed 32 of 32 everything uh, got success now if i try to open here the same thing and if i try to run this karma and here this is the only thing right 9877 okay so here if i try to do yeah it got executed and disconnected so we didn't get any error now if i go here into the command prompt and here you will be able to see the dots right so these are the dots reporters we have used right dots and chrome so we have opened this chrome automatically it got executed connected in socket when we opened this one in the chrome it directly automatically got connected and it got executed all the steps all the specs has been passed so this is the time take time taken to execute all the specs and again immediately the chrome has been shut down so why because we have made it single run true only right so that's it so now using this karma we have executed successfully all the specs now the all the specs are trying are, are running successfully without any problem so this is how we will be use we will be creating the karma configuration file and we will try to run this karma start 
okay hope you understood about this creation of the configuration file if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you